took my breath away A young and pretty was it just a dream So we can't hear you. She says hello. He says hello. <laughs> It's now like 10.40, 10.50, something like that. But we're going out to the Castle Gardens, which is kind of south of, south east of the Hauptbahnhof. I'll put a photo up of where it is. But we've seen so many nice photos of it. So I'm really excited to go see it. And then we're either going to fit in the gym or Carly needs to head off today. So it's just going to be a, a bit of an outing this morning. And then we don't actually know what's happening in the evening. But we'll see as the day unfolds. Anyway, let's go to the Castle Gardens. I'm sure I'll take lots of photos. I've decided that I just like bridges. Oh my gosh. Oh, the lock <laughs> Are these ones? These fluffy ones are mine. So beautiful. Luke just took a reel of me, so go check that out if you are interested. <laughs> but it's such a beautiful day, and we've just walked down this like beautiful lane that just feels like a white limousine tour wedding. Come down the lane. Just wow. Open up to this. The forbidden ottoman. <laughs> Don't sit on it. No sits. There you go. There we go. Little froggy dude. And a jumper. Waited so long before. <laughs> after designing. <laughs> <laughs> All of the merch that you All finally got here now. All of the merch I've been seeing everyone else wearing. Yeah. But yeah. Um, we're probably, I think, just going to get an ice cream or an iced coffee or something and make a plan. Have a bit of a chill. Have a bit of a chill. Maybe go to a museum or something. But it's yeah. It's got a chill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's got a chill to get. <laughs> ice cold. <laughs> we just found this diorama at the train station. Cool. So cool. My brother used to make all these diorama things. We used to go around and he collects from all of the like collector shops where we went. It was so cool. It just reminds me of that. So we've stopped into this like ice cream cafe thing and they had a vegan dark chocolate ice cream which I talked about in a previous vlog as like my favorite vegan ice cream. So yeah, and then Luke's just waiting for his like Bailey's milkshake. <laughs> it's a little bit later now and we're back at the apartment you can see. I'm just sitting on the couch watching an episode of, uh, oh, it's in German on my screen. Der Sommer als ich schön würde. 
The Summer I Turned Pretty, I think is what the title is in English. But I am shattered. We dropped Carly off, I videoed that. And then we walked around the city center for a while and we were looking at going to the residence schloss, uh, residence castle thing. I'm not really sure what it is, but we were looking at going there. But then I wanted to do the, um, they've got like a green bolt thing, which is like all the historic items that they've had that are really, really old and really cool. So I wanted to do that, but I it was closed by the time that we were going to get there because I think the last intake is like four o'clock and we were only looking at it at four o'clock. So um, we just ended up having a walk around and we went to Lush and bought a bath bomb so that I can have a bath later on. And then we came home, watched a bit of TikTok, did a scroll on TikTok for a bit. And now I'm just watching this episode. I am feeling exhausted. Luke has a work call in about half an hour, so we're just making tea, watching TV. I think we're gonna have a really chill evening. Don't feel like doing anything too strenuous. And then we're gonna go through those um, two things tomorrow. But yeah, just my slight update for the evening. I haven't really filmed too much today. It's just been a lot of walking and not much like actual like viewing of things. I think we got to three o'clock when we dropped off Carly and we were just like, oh, <laughs> what are we gonna do? Just felt really tired and just wanted to come back. But anyway, I'm gonna watch this season, uh, season premiere, no, not season premiere, like the pilot episode. And I'll let you know what I think of it. I don't know, I like to all the boys I loved before. So this is kind of by the same author. So I'm interested to see how it goes. <laughs> finally time for us to be clearing up and heading out. I think it's like 10.30, 10.40ish. Um, and we've pretty much just done a big sweep of the apartment here. Just like tidied up and done the dishes and packed up all our stuff. And so I thought because I didn't get a chance to do the tour when we first got here because everyone kind of had had a long journey and just wanted to unpack, I thought that I'd do it now. So I guess Let's get started. So this is an Airbnb that we found pretty quickly actually, even though it's fully booked up. Probably helped that we came midweek. So by the door here, we've just got like the Wi-Fi stand and a shoe container tray thing that I always tripped over. Um, but we've just got the door, pretty simple. And then the door opens up, the corridor opens up into like a little entryway thing and we've just got a well my bags are at the moment but another like shoe rack thing and where we put our <laughs> um hats and then there's two doors so there's one here and one here so this one enters into the kitchen which you've probably seen most of while we've been here because it's where i was working this apartment has three ish rooms and that's why we were able to all work while we were here so I was mostly sat at the dinner table. It's got four chairs, which is really nice. And then the kitchen, which you are familiar with from all of my coffee making. Fridge, oven, stove, and it's all really well equipped. I have to say, this is the most well equipped Airbnb that we've ever stayed in. It's got like coffee, tea, toaster, all of the cutlery that you'd need, um, cutting implements, plates, bowls, glasses, even some containers, which is really nice because obviously we cooked a bit too much each week and then just from this perspective that's the door that you come in my husband <laughs> and then connecting to the kitchen is a little terracey thing which is so cool it's got these like outdoor place where you can sit Luke's trying to figure out where all of the waste goes because there's a whole explanation thing of 
the different colored bins. And then if you go through here, this is the front door again. This is to the right of the front door, if you're coming through it. This is the like living room area. So we've got like a little antique section. I thought that this typewriter thing was so cool. I've always wanted to learn to use a typewriter and just never, you know, never had an excuse. But anyway, just some like decorative things. It's got some books, which I assume you can read, but I brought my own books and then didn't end up reading any because we were so busy. Um, and then it's got this fold out couch. So this actually folds out into, I think a 1.4 or 1.6 by two. Um, so this bit here folds down and then this bit folds out as well. And then it's got this little like coffee table with some blankets, TV, my laptop is charging there at the moment. But the TV's got like Amazon Prime and YouTube. It's like a smart TV, like a normal smart TV. It actually sees it on the remote. So we were able to link up our devices and we played um, like music through YouTube while we were cooking and it was able to come through to the other room. So that was all really cool. This room gets a lot of light from the windows because it opens out onto the main road. There you go, somebody's cycling past. Um, and then there's this little chandelier thing. All of the decorations. It's a really cool room. I'll do a, like a panning from one side to the other. But um, it's actually a really nice room. And I sat and watched TV here last night while Luke was working, which I showed you. There you go, Luke finishing off the last of the food. <laughs> and then if you come out of there, there's me. <laughs> here's the mirror that I was doing most of my filming in. Hello, hello. Um, it was actually really nice having this, just to be able to film in. We don't have one, at, oh, we won't have one in our new place. So I'm taking advantage of while we've got it. But yeah. Uh, behind here is just like some shelving, which we obviously didn't use, but it's got some extra like blankets and cushions for the chairs outside. And then a little cabinet thing, which we put our like keys and stuff on when we came in. And then let's go to the bathroom. So the bathroom has a washing machine, a washing machine, which we didn't use. And then it's got like a bath shower, which is so nice. We ended up going to Lush yesterday and getting a bath bomb so that we could have a bath in the evening. But the shower's head um, has different settings and this shower, what do you even call it? Like divider, pulls out, which is really nice and that means it just like folds away and is not out and imposing in the room the whole time. And then, it's nicely tiled, comes with a, oh, I was just looking in the background. I saw somebody moving around in the garden. Um, it comes with like a hair dryer and a bunch of products and yeah, it's really nice. Ironing board, very nice. And then the last room, which is a bit of a mess, sorry, because that's where all of our bags are. But this is the like main bedroom. It has a desk where Luke was working and then it's got a hanger, which I actually forgot to video it, but I hung up all of our clothing because I hate operating out of a suitcase. I find it really chaotic. And then the bed. The only unfortunate thing is that this room has really poor lighting. I imagine if you opened the curtain, it might be a bit easier, but yeah, it was, it was actually pretty okay because we didn't spend much time in here. And then I'm just charging my devices. There's a wall plug down there. We actually ended up moving this lamp that was on the desk over to this windowsill so that at nighttime we almost had like a bed night. Bed light. But yeah. So we're just packing up our stuff. But yeah, that's, um, that's us. We need to leave now, but I hope that you liked this. I definitely recommend this place. It's been the best Airbnb we've ever stayed in. Um, it's so well equipped and it's super centrally located. The trains and buses are very, very close to here. So I definitely recommend it. If you're in the Dresden area, I can put the listing in the description box below, but otherwise we need to get out of here um, and get on with the day. I'm assuming we're going to go get coffee somewhere because I think that's needed at this point. But yeah, see you soon. So we're just sitting outside this like church place. Oh, you can't see it here. We walked past it on like the first day. No, you're not going to be able to see it. We walked past it on the first day. Um, and we thought that we'd sit here because we have some leftover ice cream. We bought the um, Oatly ice cream. 
it's the new, I think it's new actually, but um, it's made of oat milk, obviously, it's why it's called Oatly, but it is incredible, it's so good for a dairy free ice cream, so we didn't get a chance to finish it, so we're just going to sit here by the little like fountain thing and, and finish it, before we keep going. So this is the uh, residence schloss. It's like the palace that we're gonna go into. This is they have the like historic vault which I wanted to go into, but we don't have time, unfortunately. And you'll see coming over, they have these horse-drawn carriages. They're so cool. And like a mini diorama of the whole castle.